Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chief Chat. What is up, my exchange family from all over the world? And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chief Chat. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Kevin Osby, and I'm your senior enlisted advisor for the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. Before we get started with our guest today, I would like to introduce my lovely co-hosts, Kiana Holliman and Dora Trillo. Hey, how y'all doing, ladies? How are you? And y'all excited? So y'all excited yeah. about today? Big day. For sure. Yes. Well, I see I didn't get the memo. You guys went to the salon, man. Y'all looking real good today. And, and all I did was put a whole bunch of lotion on my face before before we started this interview. So <laughs> but no, today we have we have an amazing guest that has uh, graced our our screens for a very, very long time. Um, and today she's going to bless us on Chief Chat. So without further ado, Kiana, please introduce our next guest. Today's guest is a popular soap star and television actress. She has received multiple awards for her role as Sammy Brady on the hit soap, Days of Our Lives. She's also an executive producer, talk show host, author, and active supporter of our military. She plays the role of Tracy on the new Hallmark Channel trilogy, The Wedding Veil. So please give a warm chief chat welcome to Allison Sweeney. Hey. Hi. So, so welcome, Allison. How are you doing today? I'm fantastic. Thank you so much for having me on Chief Chat. I'm so excited to be here. Awesome, awesome. So it's a pleasure to have you on the show with us today. And uh, how's your 2022 been treating you so far? It's been off to a good start. I'll tell you what, it's been not bad. I'm happy. We're it seems like we're turning the corner here. Knock wood. Yes, yes. yes knock on wood. <laughs> Well, Allison, some of our viewers may not know that you got your start in acting as a child. Actually, last month we had Gerald McGraney on here, um, you know, from Simon and Simon, which is where you got your first TV credit. Um, but you were also on, you know, Webster and St. Elsewhere. So you were a child actor. What was that like? So my mom thought it would be cute and sort of funny if I was in a commercial when I was four years old. I think it was sort of like... Um, I don't know, a competition with my aunt, her kid had been in like a print ad. And so she just thought it would be funny. And uh, so I went on one audition and I had for a commercial and I, I had a balloon with me and, you know, I told them that I had to take the balloon in with me and the casting director was like, oh yeah, all right, fine kid. And uh, I got the job and I, I, I just loved it. I loved every part of it and I've been acting ever since. That's awesome. Man, well, so the next, my next job interview, I'm taking a balloon with me. I promise you. Take that's, a balloon. That's Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, yeah, so, oh my gosh, I can't believe you had, I always um, use Simon and Simon as my reference and St. Elsewhere. I've been acting since I was a kid. And of course it dates, you know, dates me. The, those were the shows that I grew up watching and that I, that I was on when I was a kid, but I loved it so much. And um, it was, it's been a lot of fun to, to you know, be on those iconic shows of the 80s. Right, and that is so exciting. You've gone from the balloon cute kid to having a full-time career in acting and doing pretty well at it, if I might add. One of your most popular roles is Sammy Brady on Days of Our Lives, and you joined the soap back in 1993 at only 16 years old, bringing the drama every single week. So Sammy's experiences touched on many emotionally heavy and controversial topics, particularly at a time when television was considered to be more wholesome and family oriented. So what are some of the biggest life lessons that you learned while playing Sammy? Wow, that's a great question. Um, so yeah, I, I think soaps kind of pride themselves on being relevant and topical and um, maybe even controversial, uh, you know, touching on issues, especially back then that maybe other shows weren't tapping into. But um, I, I've, I've learned a lot of lessons um, over the years. I think probably honesty is the best policy is maybe the big lesson to take away from playing Sammy Brady is, uh, you know, all the trouble, the webs she weaves um, when she's uh, cooking up her schemes or what get her into trouble. Uh, and um, I will say, if, you know, people always ask me, like, what do I have in common with my character? And I, I do think she's very loyal. She loves her family. She wants all she sort of ever wants is more 
love and appreciation from them. But um, I do think that that, that that loyalty that she has, like she's ride or die with her family. And, and uh, I, I love that about her. It's not always healthy, but it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> So you've also produced and starred in uh, multiple Hallmark movies. And so my previous two co-hosts, co uh, Leah and Julie, they are Hallmark, like they, they watch Hallmark more than probably any other TV sh TV station that you can think of. We had a lot of uh, folks that were, they did Hallmark Christmas movies. They do like Hallmark Christmas movie uh, parties and sleepovers. Starts in July, and yeah. 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 You, could, you could carry those Christmas movies all year round with you if you want. <laughs> so, so what picture? <laughs> What piqued your, piqued your interest in being behind the camera? Well, I've, um, so I've acted my whole life, but I've always wanted to produce. I've always wanted to sort of be a part. I, I, the, the truth is I'm a, I'm a Virgo. I'm a very detail-oriented person. So I was going to sell you some story about like my big dreams and ambitions as a kid, but, the, but no, the answer is I like to be a part of every single decision that's made. And as an actor, you don't really have that say, and you're not really a part of those conversations. You show up on set and all the important decisions have already been made and I'm not into that. <laughs> so, so <laughs> early on, I realized that if I wanted to like figure out all the other elements, I was going to have to get on board earlier in the process. And so producing has really been a complete dream come true for me. It's what I always imagined it would be. And certainly developing the storyline, reading a book and saying to myself, wow, that would make a great movie. Um, and then working with the writer in the process, meeting with the prop department, meeting with the wardrobe team, meeting with the set designers, all of those things are, are just so rewarding to me, just as important to me as the acting is. That's what makes the movie and creates an environment that for the actors to thrive and shine in and so um it's just been it's been amazing and in every production meeting i always say to the department heads there is no detail too small for for me i i love it all bring me any thoughts questions concerns uh that that's just so satisfying to me that's so cool because i i mean it must be really cool to see it come together in the end be part of every single aspect and then it just comes together beautifully on the screen, I, I've no. really excited Well, it's nice about that. for you to say it, but not always beautifully. I mean, uh, the truth <laughs> is, sometimes we're there, and I, I can't even tell you how many times I'm like, we're putting out fires, and uh, you know, not literal ones, but um, we're we're there and scrambling to try to make something work. And oh, I thought it was going to be this kind of cake, and the picture it looked big, and then they bring it, and it's this tiny, and you're like, that's not a cake. I, what are you talking? About? You know, and. So a, a thousand things happen. That's and that's also sort of the fun of it. Um, in entertainment, it, everyone always laughs that like all the best laid plans are, are just end up falling apart, and it's all about scrambling and pulling it together and trying to make something, you know, like MacGyver it. And uh, and that's fun too. So thank you. I'm glad it looks okay in the end, but <laughs> it's a lot getting there. The yeah, struggle no, is real. Yes, yeah. exactly. So sorry. Go ahead with your question. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, no, we were going to kind of switch gears um, because something that uh, seems to be really important to you is also very important to our, you know, our military, and that's health and nutrition. You, um, aside from acting and producing, uh, were on the Biggest Loser, which is a health uh, a weight competition, um, and then you're also on uh, the Entertainment Council um, for uh, Nutrition, and you've written about you know, health and nutrition for, for new moms. So what inspired you to live a health, a uh, fit and healthy lifestyle? Well, I mean, I suppose just in general, wanting to be healthy, my inspiration to, you know, especially now is my kids. And I have always geared myself towards, I shouldn't say always, like when I turned the corner, when I was younger, I was really trying to be skinny. I was trying to look like those women in the magazines and that did not work for me as motivation. In fact, it was, if nothing, like leading me back to the freezer for more ice cream. So um, what I found to be really rewarding to me and, and satisfying was I'm an athletic person. I like um, being, I like being physically challenged. When I was in school, I was pretty fit because I played games. I don't love like the classic traditional workout, but I do love like my husband tried to teach me how to play um, uh, racquetball and I'm not very good at it, but I 
I will, I will pass out trying so hard to play because I love competition. And so that's the kind of fitness that's satisfying to me and, and challenging and fun. And so when I realized that about myself, I really was able to re-engage in a fit lifestyle because that being ready for any kind of activity, I love to ski, I love to, I don't know, hold my kid up. So all that is to say now with kids, um, things that really make me proud are like when I can hold my little girl on up on the ice skating rink and I'm strong enough, not only do I know how to ice skate, but I can hold her up so that she can learn and I'm providing that memory and that story for her and, and the safety that comes along with not crashing into the ice all the time. And uh, that kind of thing is so rewarding to me as a parent um, that I look at my physicality and my fitness and my overall health towards being a better, the best parent I can be. Yeah. No, that's important. Like you said, especially when you have children, you want to be part of their everyday life and not just kind of sit back and, and watch them have all the fun and, and energy and you kind of want to be along with them. That's you true. want to be a part of it. You want to be part of those yeah. memories that they that they create. And so that was sort of my, my big goal. And then getting to post The Biggest Loser was an incredible opportunity in general. But also it taught me so much about health and wellness. I remember the first time... Uh, I, re I realized doing this calorie challenge that a Caesar salad almost, ha in some cases, depending on the restaurant, has more calories in it than a burger, a cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait, what? And then recognizing, I just, I, I remember that was like such a crushing moment for me because I think of all the times that I had some, you know, lettuce with ranch dressing and fried chicken on it and whatever, like two pieces of carrot, thinking I was making a healthy choice. And you're not. You know, and, and just knowing that um, there's so much information out there to learn, that was really Im an important breakthrough for me personally, and I, I think for the audience as well. For sure. Um, being ready and resilient is really important to our warfighters and um, in the military community especially. So I know they can take such great advice from um, your guidance in that way as well. But also as an actress with a decades long career, speaking of the military community, you still find so much time to support the military, whether it's a social post thanking America's heroes or just being actively involved in events and organizations that support service members. You always show your appreciation. And um, you also served as the national spokesperson for American Humane's Pups for Patriots 5K back in 2021. So what inspires your continued support of our armed services? Well, my father is a former Marine and uh, my godfather's a Marine. And so I grew up with tremendous respect and admiration for our armed forces and for the sacrifice that you all make on our behalf and uh, how lucky we are to have such incredible people out there fighting for us every day. And so um, I, I just try to do everything I can to whenever I have the opportunity and certainly Pups for Patriots, boy, I can't even talk about it without getting emotional. Um, I think it's so brave, uh, our soldiers over there, and to have a canine partner, uh, a four-legged friend, you know, what an incredible story and journey they have. And then the amazing thing in Pups for Patriots is that they're actually finding uh, rescue dogs and, and helping them help um, our armed uh, uh, service people coming home, you know, fight deal with PTSD and uh, be their partner back when they get back home and, and make that transition. And it's just been incredible. American Humane is a wonderful organization. I'm so proud to be a part, uh, partner with them. Man, that's, that's amazing that you, you are, you know, so dedicated and shout out to your, your, your godfather and your father for, for their service. Um, I, I started out my, my career off in the Marine Corps. So it's always, you know, we're a small band of brothers and uh, we, so it's, uh, you know, yeah, one, hurrah, yeah, once a Marine, always a Marine. And it's always, uh, you know, good talking to other, you know, other Marines, because I know this is such a small fraternity. So, uh, you know, before we start, before we started our live, we were kind of talking about your USO tours, right? And mm -hmm. you said you went over there in the time before smartphones. And so you had like a disposable <laughs> camera or a flip yeah. phone or, or something. That's exactly right. Yeah, something to take a disposable over. camera. <laughs> yeah. So um, you, you went on two separate USO tours. You visited the Middle East and Europe. Can you share one of your favorite memories of those tours? 
Well, I don't want to get anyone in trouble, but my favorite. Get them in trouble. Get them in trouble. (laughs) (laughs) um, No, so I I can't believe, you know, now looking back on the um, situation today, I actually got to go to Afghanistan. And um, so when we were flying, first of all, when we were flying there and landing, uh, you know, with those huge mountain ranges and it, 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 my husband is a pilot. And so I know a little bit about flying. What I know is that you're not normally supposed to like be hovering over the runway and then you like dive bomb down <laughs> yeah. and land. Yeah. And that is a really remarkably alarming experience um, for a civilian like myself. <laughs> so that was the, the first kind of like, I'll, I'll remember that forever because that was just so uh, unusual. And then when we left Afghanistan and flew to the UAE, uh, the pilot of the C-130 let me fly and let me see in, in pilots. I mean, I'm sure I wasn't really flying, but I was sitting in the pilot seat and I got to take a picture. And it was pretty <laughs> cool. So that was, that was, those were highlight moments for me, but just in general, all the people we met, we went at Christmas. And so we celebrated Christmas with the air force there. And, uh, it was just such a wonderful opportunity. I mean, some of the guys got to, uh, that I was on the tour with, we got to go in the, um, uh, the Jeeps and drive around in the snow. And then there was this contest where they were like putting on all the firemen, the fire flight gear, fire gear and dig pushups with them. And luckily I didn't have to do that, but it was, it was just, like what everyone goes through and the fun they the, they made for us and celebrating Christmas Eve with them that it was just so special to me and um so they were everyone was so gracious and appreciative and um kind I, I can't even tell you what an incredible welcoming experience we had there I, I was so grateful for the opportunity yeah yeah I like the way you framed it you said uh remarkable experience so uh I probably can have a, a probably I can describe it a little bit probably better uh, with with some choice words that I can't say on this uh, tel- tel- telecast, <laughs> but, but it, it's yeah, called well, a combat landing, you know right? And so- That's correct. And <laughs> they also tell you like not to go off the main trail because there might be mines still out there. I, I, like you, it just, for me, <laughs> there, you just, these are things that you don't, you know, how could I possibly know that until it ha- until they're like, Telling you not to don't don't go wandering around. <laughs> yeah, no, no. So you know, it, it's just it's kind of crazy because you know, for you that's a remarkable experience, but for us it's still a remarkable experience because we're not used to that. We don't train for that here in the states. We don't really some of that stuff we just are now experiencing for the first time when we go over there. So uh, we're kind of like right. you know yourself, like you're not expecting it. Yeah, I'm not expecting to go from a mountain range going straight down. And they, they turn off all the lights and you got these red lights everywhere. It's just a and then you're sitting on this C one thirty net that's 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 jammed up in your in your in your butt, butt bottom and it's yeah, it's just a it's 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 a remarkable experience. So we'll, we'll use that term. I like that. <laughs> we both know what it means. I like that too. I got it. Yeah. So Allison, the military community is watching us live. What would you like to say to them today? Oh my gosh, I am so grateful to all of you for your service. Thank you for being so brave. Thank you for going out there and championing America and freedom and everything that you do every day. And uh, I, I just, I am so appreciative and grateful for your service. My kids are, I'm raising my children to understand and be grateful. And my, my husband certainly would back me up and say, thank you for your service. Your fans are tuned into the live stream as well, and you're receiving so much love. Um, Emily says that she loved all the Murder, She Baked movies. Diane says, Sammy, I'm so glad you were rescued. Leah says she's loved Days (laughs) since middle school. Um, Marisa says, I used to watch Allison on Days of Our Lives 20 years ago when I was supposed to be homeschooling. She says, you barely aged, so skincare on fleek. We need your skincare tips is what Julie says. Um, Angela says she's really lighting. looking forward I'll to be honest. It's just lighting? It's good lighting. No, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure it's not. <laughs> <laughs> also, Angela says that she's really looking forward to the final movie, which I'm assuming she's talking about the wedding veils um, unveiled, the final one. So we'll talk about that more for <laughs> sure. But yeah, so much love, so, so many comments. The wedding veil legacy is the third one. Legacy. Yeah. Yes, yes. And I got a couple of uh, comments on my page as well. I got uh, Barbara Tender says, I love your Hallmark, Hallmark mystery series. Um, and we got Jaheed Marasi says, hello. Uh, and then I got 
I got my my chief groupies on here. Uh, Steve Soto, man, he's on every he, he he comments on everything. He he just loves he loves the show. He loves who we bring on, and he's a he's a fan of Allison. So, uh, like I said, you you get a lot of love from our our folks here. Oh, thank you all of you so much for tuning in for watching, and I, I'm so grateful to get a chance to say hi to all of you. So let's talk about the uh, the role you play of Tracy in the wedding veil. You said legacy, right? Yeah. So it's it's a trilogy on Hallmark on the Hallmark Channel. Fans have enjoyed the first two installments, co-starring other Hallmark fan favorites as Lacey Chabert and Autumn Reeves over the past two weekends. What can fans expect from the the Wedding Veil Legacy, which premieres this Saturday? Well, so right. The premise of the Wedding Veil, my friend Lacey Chabert developed the idea uh, based on a book. And it's three best friends who are uh, out antiquing and they come upon this antique veil. And uh, apparently the veil comes with a, a superstition or, I don't know, magic that make, that helps the person who has it fall in love and or find true love. And so uh, Lacey's character is sort of the true believer of the group and she just loves love and believes that the veil might really have magic in it and then Hers was the first movie that premiered at the beginning of the month. And she, of course, her character finds true love, as one does in a Hallmark movie. And, um, and But uh, uh, Autumn and I both played her best friends in her movie, so we had kind of more cameo roles where we support that story. Then Autumn's movie was the second movie where her character takes the veil to go do some research about the veil in Italy. And let me just tell you, she got to have an entire movie in Italy, which was just beautiful and spectacular. And that's called The Wedding Veil Unveiled. Uh, that was the sequel. And my movie premieres on Saturday night at eight o'clock on Hallmark Channel, and it's called The Wedding Veil Legacy. And my character was more the skeptic. She was the non-believer of the group. So we'll have to see what ends up happening with the veil when, when she gets a hold of it. <laughs> no, that's so exciting. Like when we leave, I'm gonna try to track that veil down because you know, <laughs> I wanna find true love too. <laughs> but we know you like to do Allison. Um, are there any new projects on the horizon for you? Well, I'm in the process of developing a Christmas movie for this coming winter. Um, you know, it's Christmas all year round at Hallmark, so we have to start early. And uh, uh, that, that's what I'm working on right now. But, you know, um, one of your fans mentioned it. I love the Murder, She Bakes series. I love the character of Hannah Swenson. So I'm hoping to produce more of that and to see what else is out there. I'm, I'm open to anything. Yeah, I mean, as a reminder for our viewers, The Wedding Veil Legacy premieres this Saturday, February 19th at 8 p.m. Eastern on the Hallmark uh, Channel. And I'm so glad I caught, I think I was telling you earlier, the, the little chat you had with your co-stars, because I got a little insight on, on you know, the making of, of the movies and your guys' relationship in real life. It was really neat to, to see you guys chat as girlfriends. Um, but before we say goodbye, where can fans go follow you and keep up uh, with all your projects? Oh, thanks. Yeah, um, you can definitely follow me on Instagram at Ali Sweeney and on um, Facebook. And uh, and then I'm on Twitter. And actually, we're going to be doing a little Twitter chat live during the premiere on Saturday night using the hashtag The Wedding Veil. Uh, we'll be oh, answering cool. fan questions and talking about behind the scenes stuff and posting more behind the scenes photos that we have. Uh, I have to tell you, yesterday I posted a photo or last night of um, the three of us eating cheesecake in a scene. And and it was so funny because we were filming the scene in the morning when one is not necessarily inclined to be eating cheesecake. And so it wasn't so easy to, to just, you know, play with it on the plate instead of eat it. And then one uh, autumn actually took a bite and she looked at us with her eyes wide, like, oh my God, this is good cheesecake. And, <laughs> and the next thing you know, we were all of us just gone. We <laughs> took bites in every take for the entire morning, they had to get us more cheesecake. So that is really funny. funny. Um, <laughs> no, I'll definitely have to follow that, that, like that Twitter chat. I, I'll have to follow because when I was watching it um, on the YouTube, I really felt like, oh, I can call her Allie. We're friends now. It was really just the three of you <laughs> talking was really cool. <laughs> oh, I love hearing that. Yeah, so you can find that video on um, the Hallmark Channel Facebook. Uh, page if you are interested in seeing that that interview that we did because it was really fun mm -hmm. 
Well, listen, I know what I'm eating for lunch. I'm having a, a 2,000 calorie uh, Caesar salad and cheesecake. So uh, thank you, Allie, for, in, for the inspiration. <laughs> Wow, this this interview took a turn. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it always does. Trust me, it, and it's pro mostly my fault too. So. <laughs> but uh, for our it's chief chat, remarkable. It's been a uh, remarkable thank, interview. <laughs> remark, remarkable interview, man. That's hey, we got to put that on our uh, promos from here on out. The remarkable Where chief chat, <laughs> a remarkable experience. You guys are so awesome. Thank you. Awesome. So, so for our chief chat viewers. You can rewatch this episode on YouTube and Spotify uh, and, and also the past episodes we had. And also be sure to tune in uh, later on today at 1.15 p.m. when we have the actor Shannon Tatum and director Reed Carolyn. Oh, my gosh. And, tell me about Channing Tatum. Oh, I'm, <laughs> can I come so, back? What do you, you, you <laughs> I'll clear my calendar. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, you can come back. The only stipulation I told Channing's team is that he has to keep his shirt on. He cannot take his shirt off. <laughs> that would be awkward. I, I mean, awkward. as much as, you know, <laughs> the, the ladies might like it, that would be a weird interview. <laughs> yes, that, that would be that would be super awkward for me. So, uh, yeah, definitely. But uh, they're going to be on the show to talk about their new movie, uh, Dog, and, and join us again on February 22nd. When we have Peter Wilson from the Prague Rock Band, Four Trips Ahead, to join us on the chat. And and before we let you go, Allison, I got one more person that that absolutely he he works here at the Exchange. He's one of our senior vice presidents for HR. He's a huge Allison Sweeney fan, and I would be remiss oh. if I did not. Uh, uh, so, Dr. Patrick Odenberg, uh, when I when we 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 had a meeting a, uh, last week, and we were kind of talking about the, the guests that I have. Uh, lined up and and when I, as soon as I said Allison Sweeney he jumped in the middle of the conversation he was like chief where are you going to be at for this interview I said well I'm going to be in the office I don't know if you're going to be in the office you making swing up swing up and and say something but uh he's sitting somewhere but he's definitely watching right now and he absolutely loves you so I just got to give him that shout out well thank you so much thank you shout out to you Mwah. thank you so Allison uh this has been a wonderful interview like I said it's been a remarkable interview. Matter of fact, it's not even just been wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, uh, and thank you, too. thank you so much for joining us today, and thank you for all that you do for the military community. I know sometimes, uh, you know, people in the entertainment world they don't really well. They they always thank us and they always you know show us a bunch of love, but uh, we appreciate you for taking our minds off of all the craziness that we have to deal with and giving giving us some entertainment or or Kiana, give her some love with a with a veil that she's gonna try to find here at at, at Davis yeah. Bridal or something. Or I think it's at Davis Bridal. I'm, just, I'm gonna give it away. <laughs> but uh, no, thank you so much well, for what you do and uh, what you've done your whole entire life. Uh, because it seems like you you want to give back and you want to make the world a better place. And we appreciate people like you. So thank you. Uh. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you both. Thank you all so much. It's been such a joy talking to you. And again, I can't say it enough. We appreciate you every day and thank you for your service. Absolutely. So if you don't mind hanging on with us for about two minutes after the live, so we can kind of say our formal sure. goodbyes. But um, I want to go ahead okay. and, uh, you know, having you with us means so much to our nation's heroes. We wish you all the best and good luck on, on the premiere of uh, the Wedding Veil Legacy. Uh, that's come, coming out this weekend. So uh, thank you again, and Chief Chat out.